Now uh, this, this week was all about criminal justice. I had the signing of Senate Bill 166, which was uh, uh, about the sealing of uh, misdemeanors, uh, if someone had been clean for seven to ten years, uh, we want to make sure that, that that is not used in any way in, in the hiring decisions. I also uh, was at the press conference unveiling the uh, Judicial uh, Justice, Re uh, Justice Reinvestment Initiative uh, Part 2 for Pennsylvania. Uh, and that's really looking at the front end of our criminal justice system to see if there's some things we can do to build on what we did in JRI 1. Uh, that actually has already led to a reduction in our criminal, in our uh, prison population, uh, and a reduction in our crime rate. Launched a new website that, that uh, builds uh, metrics for the, the three broad goals that I have as governor uh, jobs that pay, schools that teach, and government that works. We want to operationalize each one of those goals, turn them into to real measurements that, that people can, uh, the citizens of Pennsylvania can say, uh, take a look at and see if, if we're actually. Uh, doing better, if we're actually doing what we set out to do. Uh, it's going to help us also uh, creating these goals and making sure that, that we're being as transparent as possible. Continue to visit a lot of schools. This week I, I visited one, the most recent was in my uh, home community of York, Pennsylvania, and uh, an elementary middle school, uh, the Alexander Good School, and, and gave me a chance to, to once again uh, talk to teachers uh, and students from elementary school to middle school students and uh, admin school administrators um, in uh, a, a really uh, challenged school district. It's been a big week. It's 1,500 degrees here because I, I I am actually part Swedish, and I, <laughs> I, I wanted a sauna atmosphere. It's working. <laughs>